Many pH indicators have two colors, one on the acid end, one on the base end. And what I want to show you next is an indicator called Brome Fine Wall Blue. Its pH range is it's yellow at pH 6 or below, and it's blue at around pH 7.6 and above. As you can see here, this solution right here will be the acid version of Brome Fine Wall Blue, and this one will be more the basic version. And in between, you're going to have a solution probably in the pH 6.6 .6 to pH 7 range that's going to be more of a green. And during a titration, if you have the acid in the Erlenmeyer flask and you're titrating with a base, you're going to start with the yellow and you want to go towards more of a green for the equivalence point. And let me demonstrate how that would work. Adding a slight uh, a base to this solution right here, you would add a couple drops using the burette, swirl each time because it's very important to swirl until you start getting too close to the end point. You can start seeing the green appearing but then also going away. getting very close to the end point. Every once in a while you're going to want to take some DI water, wash down the sides and make sure you have all the titrant off the sides. We're no longer yellow. We're more of a very slight green. So now all I need is a partial drop of the base. In this case actually I overshot the indicator. That's how sensitive these bases these indicators can be. But that would be your typical titration using Brome Thymol Blue.